Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have here one of my favorite car, the new Mercedes CLA uh, IMG um, 35 shooting brake 2020 model of course uh, and I will review it for you. Uh, I will review the interior, exterior and I try to give you as many details as possible. Um, also the price, the color name and all that stuff. Stay with me until, uh, until the end of the video and you will see uh, all of those um, information. So we will start as always with the exterior design. Um, as I told you before, it's one of my favorite car not only in this class but in all class to be honest um, if if I have the, the option to buy this car probably I will do it I really like the design the exterior design of the car and also the interior it's fabulous Mercedes in 2020 make some fantastic cars not only that the car look very nice but the the quality the materials quality in the interior and not only the interior but look at the brake discs uh, they are one of the best and the quality it's amazing also you will see when we'll go in the interior um, actually the drag coefficient of this car it's 0 0.26 it has an amazing aerodynamic so um, they did a great job also with aerodynamic if you see the shape of the car it's it's really like a, like a racket uh, it, it's come also with LED lights on the tail light and uh, even the blinkers, the, um, the blinkers are LED light. You can see the shape of the tail light. It's it's really beautiful. It's like a three-dimensional shape, uh, and they look super super nice. Mercedes, stay Mercedes until the end. So, um, what can I say? Beautiful, beautiful design in the front. The blinkers also on the mirrors, LED light, um, as expected. We have a camera and also an LED light that illuminate the floor in the night. So this car have 360 degrees camera around the car. So um, it's really easy to park it and uh, to maneuver it. Also the blind spot technology, you see it before in the mirror, in the front as well, LED light, daylight, and also high, um, high bin and low bin. They are LED light and they are the latest technology from Mercedes. Uh, with the adaptive um, high bin and stuff like that it's 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 one of the best on the market it's just um, you have to keep this in mind when we'll see the price of the car because the price it's uh, in my opinion it's it's very big price but it totally deserve the money um, the car totally deserve also now you can see the daylight the LED daylight from the front the beautiful big grill in the front with the Mercedes logo uh, IMG logo also here on the right side uh, the grill is different from the normal version and I like it very much to be honest I like very very much the grill uh, it has a nice nice shape um, I don't know about you there it's also front camera as you can see there it's just um, the front camera and then uh, another logo up here with the Mercedes-Benz this is kind of the classic Mercedes-Benz logo uh, that it, it have to stay there uh, the front bumper beautiful big grill with a lot of air intakes to cool down the engine it has 306 horsepower on the car I just give you this info I will give you more about that six parking sensors in the front as you can see here uh, and also beautiful beautiful design on the bumper um, the designer uh, from Mercedes they are they are really talented and also you have some air intakes here that help the air go around the car uh, that help also the drag of the car and the, the aerodynamic and the coefficiency and also the fuel consumption also beautiful lines on the hood you can see how they continuing until the front um, they, they look super nice also up here we have a lot of sensors and cameras uh, that help the car for example for the um, lane assist reading the traffic speed limit uh, raining sensors and all that safety um, safety settings 
then going here we have continental tires look at the brake discs we have ventilated and cross drilled brake discs also the IMG um, it's also there on the brake calipers uh, we have 18 inch rims right here and they look pretty nice I'm really surprised that an 18 inch rims can look so good on a shooting brake to be honest look at it beautiful I think if you change if you make if you if you install like 19 and 20 uh, they will look much better turbo formatic logo here on the right side we have some plastic down here to protect the paint if you see closely then some black glossy plastic also help for aerodynamic and also um, it look nice as a design make the car much more sportier you can see the lines on the side and the shape of the car uh, the shape of the windows they look super nice you you tend to think that is not so good visibility from the interior but stay with me you will be surprised the handle beautiful fancy chrome uh, with white color half half um, the sound of the door and the quality they are phenomenal glossy plastic around the, the edge of the windows um, the way they go also BMW these days go the same uh, like that and here is the tank where you can fuel the car um, and let's go forward in the back uh, also beautiful something that I like is that this glass roof here uh, here guys I will show you also when we go in the interior uh, it make the, the interior of the car much more brighter and uh, it can go much more light inside there also here we have the roof spoiler in the back look beautiful with this glossy black plastic uh, it look phenomenal uh, in my opinion I don't know um, it's just what I think let me go forward guys to show you um, really nice also the back of the car round shapes uh, and then we have six parking sensors in the back as well um, you can see also this those a black glossy plastic insertion here on the bumper um, also very beautiful the, the diffuser down here in the back the exhaust pipes they are right there inside um, they they look just perfect uh, it's one of the most beautiful air diffuser in the back you can see here the air goes down there and come out um, I think not I think but I'm sure in my uh, in my opinion is the best the best um, diffuser ever here in the back so uh, yeah I don't know I'm, I'm really curious to hear your opinion guys just write me and tell me what you think about that um, also LED lights on the number plate then we have the the um, light reflectors we have IMG logo CLA 35 also writing on the back you immediately know what car it is the Mercedes logo in the back open up uh, the trunk it's automatic lift gate of course also um, up here you can see you have two handles the buttons to lock the car and close the, the lift gate the entrance in the trunk it's huge guys you can see from here also um, very very big space in the trunk I'm really surprised how they how they managed to do the car so aerodynamic and still to have plenty of space here like 35 centimeter deepness hooks in every corners um, plenty of space here also on the right side you have hooks uh, a normal light inside uh, then you have this protection for the trunk um, I like very much those um, those tourer cars with with plenty of space and sporty look so these days you can have a family car with a sporty look sporty design with plenty of space so you can see uh, this uh, Mercedes CLA shooting brake um, 
uh, it's it's just fantastic. It's it's more like a sporty car than a family car. Anyway, uh, down there you still have some space for repair kit and triangle and all that stuff. Um, I like very much the space, the practicality of the car, the quality of the car. Now I just fold down the seats to show you um, how how big it is and how easy it is to to carry. Uh, big items in the car so also the seats are folding almost all the way down there and you can see the entrance in the car it's huge you can take mobile parts even fridge um, or wash machine you can carry with this car so it's quite quite um, impressive um, also the big big entrance in the back here you have a great great space even the shape of even though the shape of the car it's is just very sporty and yeah anyway um very practical mercedes did a great job with this car really n no wonder why it's my one of my favorite car i think in the top five cars it is there plenty of space also on the legs right there um you can put also some grocery you have a light a yellow light there on the legs and um yeah also here you can take this part out and then uh, this is the space in the back now let me close the trunk guys and let me go forward to show you the space in the back we start with the doors uh, I love those windows, frameless windows on the upper side um, and the design it's it's very nice you can fold down the window all the way down the doors quality uh, yeah no words for Mercedes it is fantastic really great great design and quality you can see the leather the stitches soft material everywhere you have here the speaker here leather again handle leather everywhere uh, you can see also the stitches the buttons for electric windows they are great great quality when you touch it one of the best uh, buttons some chrome design on the handle another storage space in the door bands and then we have the speaker here um, of course great great sound quality inside the car as expected uh, the seats are sporty um, they are special made for this um, CLA IMG and you can see also the stitches and the shape uh, in the front the shapes with this hole in the middle have some plastic here in the back uh, to protect the car also some space right there in the door and then um, yeah my favorite vents right here in the back uh, those are my favorite and then we will go uh, a little bit down here guys we have two USB port uh, USB-C port and some storage space there um, LED light up here on the roof then we have the speakers again two speakers right here up in the back surprisingly um, that's why you have such an amazing sound inside this car I cannot show you right now because of the copyrights but to be honest guys the sound it is uh, it is fantastic uh, two cup holders right here uh, armrest also very practical then um, let me close this let me show you that you can fold down even the middle part and then you have plenty of space in the middle you can carry long items without any problem very practical again uh, you have isofix for kids so i think this is if you have the money for this car this is the the perfect family car uh, if you need also a sporty car with great great quality in the interior um, and you need in the same time a family car then this may be uh, the perfect choice for you and it's also very beautiful uh, you, have, you have plenty of space also on the legs room in the back you can see 
the seats in the front are a little bit more in the back than in my driving position they are not in driving position i think for me i should go a little bit more forward and i still have plenty of space on my legs uh, i can put a little bit my legs in the front under the front seat so it's not bad at all closing the door right here let me see the head space four fingers no problem with the head space as well great visibility on the windows not great perfect even there you have another small window in the back so the visibility it is amazing just the, the quality the comfort in the back here it's just perfect uh, great quality also on the roof uh, and yeah the position of the seat it's super good let's go in the middle also four fingers here on my head plenty of space stretch my le my hand in the left in the right zoom straight it's, it's perfect perfect for free people no problem i should say uh in the back here also on my legs you have like four four five fingers there um it's perfect position also you can see the glass roof that i'm told you before uh you can open it up and you have much more light inside the car we will go now in the front there is my favorite stuff the steering wheel the new multimedia system the m box the multimedia system the vents the design of the dashboard and the quality it is just just phenomenal just perfect to be honest let me go in the front and let's continuing with the front doors right here guys um yeah look at this led light that illuminate the floor in the night when you open the door you have a mercedes logo and you can see uh when you open up in the night it looks just splendid just beautiful here it is if you're wondering um and then you have also the the frameless windows guys here the same great quality you can see also there the ambient light inside the car right now it's kind of a blue uh, but you can change the colors and you can customize the way you want it you can see the front sport seats uh, not that they are sporty but they are very comfortable as well and you have electric adjustable seats you can uh, adjust it the way you want it you have also heated seats and if i'm not wrong um I'm not sure if you can take ventilated seats. I will check it out. But I think the car have also ventilated seats. Yes, as I said, heated and ventilated seats. So, yo, what you want more? The summer is perfect. The winter is perfect. It's just, just, uh, just the way uh, I like. Here, frameless windows in the front. Fantastic quality on the doors, guys. So we have leather um the same as in the back you can see up here the stitches they look very nice and then going a little bit down you have this blue ambient light some chrome the buttons for electric seats you can adjust the, the electric seats from here without any problem you can see in the front in the back they are very responsive and i like the fact that they are on the doors i think it's much better here you have uh, the ambient light again on the handle the buttons for electric windows electric mirrors right there the same great quality chrome here the same as in the back then we have a button to uh, open the trunk storage space in the door bands it's big enough then you have a light and again the speakers right here um, perfect just just it looks just very nice um, to be honest the interior from mercedes in 2020 they are my favorite and um, yeah this is my my uh, my favorite um, interior and cars the img logo there we have aluminium pedals as well also guys you have to keep in mind that the price of this car it's it's yeah it's bigger but it's totally deserved you see the ambient light there you can change the light i will show you a little bit later in the video how we can change those lights um and also the seats i think you see it before 
here in the middle we have an armrest leather as well great quality you can open it up very fancy uh, you have an USB C port right there and some storage space where you can put your stuff pretty big nice um, good now here guys we have soft material on the dash nice trim design you have some glossy plastic there we have the electronic handbrake here is the heart the lights you can adjust the lights the way you want it you have a fog lamp you have the, the, the digital display brightness you can adjust it from there then you see the ambient light you see it before up and down again it go all the way there the ambient light it's also inside the vents in the middle of the vents I think you see it before right here it's just there and it it illuminates very nice uh, all over the vents in the night they, they they look fantastic so they are the best vents on the market today guys just just uh, I see all the cars and I, I see many many cars and I have to tell you the best quality the best the nicest vents are those so nobody pay me from Mercedes to say that but it's just my opinion so uh, there you have the head-up display it go directly on the windscreen also very good quality one of the best let me close the, the door let me go inside to show you I think they combine very well the doors design and also the dashboard I think they did a great job with it and you can see the visibility around the car it's pretty good even here in the mirror in the back it looks very nice very good visibility it's just perfect almost no blind spot there in the back to be honest it's great visibility also here again you can see this space it's pretty big and useful there you have a USB uh, you can open it up to see anyway very helpful these days then going forward guys the center console you have some chrome design some glossy plastic the buttons for different um, settings you can change the settings from the sport driving then you have this controller for the display I will show you also the display you can use it with the controls or you can use it with the touch screen then you have the button the shortcut button for the multimedia system are on the side also the camera the sensors the, the vehicle uh, settings then you have here the driving modes you can change from the different driving mode and here is the volume wheel and also start here is the key uh, the key looks super nice and also uh, it's very light the glossy plastic very fancy two cup holders there um, right here then a little bit forward you have a place where you can uh, put your phone you have a USB port of course there uh, also very useful you can close also this one if you don't want it open you can close it up just like that in the center console will look just normal you can see also right now a little bit upper there you have the climatic system the vents and the start stop button uh, let me go let me zoom in a little bit to it now um, the ambient light I want to show you again and you can see right there right now on the vents they are closed but usually they are open up let me let me go forward and I will show you a little bit later the LED lights now here we have the climatic system also those buttons they feel very nice when you touch it uh, here are the blinkers also there is the display we will go in the, in a moment to the display as well it's very simple to use and it's right there there are the controllers for the climatic system here is the glove box guys pretty big it's it's really big you can put a lot of stuff there in the glow box um, also I think the the yeah up there almost on the roof it's also the filter the air filter you can change it from there very simple to change um, now here all over the dash it's soft material you can see the trim it's very nice it's kind of a rubber then you can see the ambient light look pretty nice the vents 
those are my favorite vans they look so nice um, then you have this leather here with two stitches also you have a speaker right there on the A pillar uh, also you can see it on the other side also very good quality on the A pillar and on the roof another speaker in the middle some vents there they they did a great job with this uh, dashboard I think it's something new something modern and futuristic inside the Mercedes and um, great job also you have a great visibility from the driver's side uh, here you have a glass support I like that and then going forward you have the controllers for the um, the glass roof the, the, the roof can be open up I will show you right now if you need some air fresh air you can open it up or close it up you can choose the way you want the way you want to have it so th this is pretty cool then you have the ambient light the SOS button also the service button and then let me show you the light they are LED light you have to keep in mind that those interior light they are LED but they are yellow so it's a yellow LED light just don't get the impression that's the normal bulb light there now the screens the mbox uh, multimedia system from Mercedes the new one it's one of the best I make a full review on my channel if you want to see the full review with it check out on my channel um, the steering wheel also very good quality um, it look nice it's easy to adjust every single settings right there in front right now you can see you can you can customize the way you want it in the middle from here from this little touch screen you have a little touch screen right here on the steering wheel it's so fancy no other car it has a touch screen just like that so it's kind of cool the way they think to add this touch screen is it's such a big difference from Mercedes and other um, other cars in terms of um, multimedia system and steering wheel and yeah it, it is really something else it's just it's phenomenal now there you can see right now is the AMG kind of a sport display but you can also change the different settings in the left in the right also everything you change it's made from the from the steering wheel so you can change the right side right now you can change to see different um, different stuff in the right side or in the left side trip itinerary but you already can see the consumption or you can see this um, G meter or you can see the thermometer, nanometer and the oil temperature and uh, stuff like that so yeah it's cool that you can change even the middle part right there so how cool is that guys so you can customize so many things here I need maybe one hour to show you all those settings uh, you can see the navigation right now it's off I have to turn it on and then I will show you let me try to turn this on guys to show you the navigation system um, it is really really cool how many things you can do and you can customize right here uh, on the on the display so it's like a computer it's it's so so complex um, here is the start stop engine button look also fancy and down there you have the button for the um, engine stop start stop as well climatic system you already see it from here you can turn it on and off um, yeah pretty cool also uh, on the steering wheel you have these pedals they are not plastic they are metal so you have to keep in mind that those pedals are metal also the gear shifter it's right here I just want to show you now not to forget you can change it from here the same as on the Tesla uh, so you can go up and down and you can change different uh, driving um, gears super simple to use and also save plenty of space I see now these days the Volkswagen want to go like that as well I see on the electrics one the, the ID free for example um, yeah anyway let's go forward guys and let me show you forward the 
and the car. So here you can choose to see also the assistants, for example. So you can see, you can go to trip, radio, media, style, display, service. Um, you can go to classic mode, sport mode. So you can see here now it's in the classic mode. So if you will buy a normal uh, CLA, you will see this um, classic mode always on all the cars, also Air class and uh, all new Mercedes. You will have this possibility to customize the way you want it. So you have so many customizable uh, things here that you can see. And also in the middle, you can see the navigation um, and you can see the adaptive cruise control and yeah it's, it's super complex and it's one of the best to be honest i think it's is the best multimedia system out there today uh, this is just my impression also the colors and the, the resolution of the screens and um, it, the easy to change stuff here and the way they make the the this uh, steering wheel with those little touch screens right there I think it's just something uh, super premium. Also, you can see the steering wheel with AMG logo right here with chrome design, very good quality. Here on the right side, you have also the controllers for the multimedia system. And here on the left side, you have the controllers for the cockpit, for the digital cockpit. And the steering wheel, of course, leather, great quality. You can see even the shape, it's very nice. The grip, it's perfect. It's just one of the best steering wheel um, ever. Look how easy it is to change the gear shifter, it's right there. So it's just, that's just the perfect uh, point of view. From the driver point of view, it's just, the visibility is just perfect. Now, let me change the settings. Let me show you now the multimedia system, guys, uh, right here on the screen. Um, here you can also adjust the steering wheel the way you want it. I just forget to tell you. You can adjust the steering wheel uh, manually up, down, front, the way you want it. Now, here uh, you have the, um, the main settings. You have the navigation. You can also let me open up the navigation to see if I can manage to put it right here in the middle. I want to show you. Let me put a destination. Uh, also, anyway, it's very responsive. The navigation is also one of the best. You have the 3D map uh, or 2D, the way you want to choose it. It's work perfect. It doesn't have any lag at all. It has a big screen here. Then you have also other settings like radio, media, comfort. Uh, performance IMG this is not only for the IMG uh, models uh, that option there um, here you have also the shortcut button you can control it with the um, with the controllers from there from the and I will choose to do that now here you have to the assistant settings all that lane assist active brake assist tension assist blind spot technology lane assist and stuff like that so you can also customize it from here turn it on and off then you have also the the settings here for the seats for the doors for the lights for the uh, yeah the mirrors then you have the light setting, the ambient light from here. You can change the ambient light because I told you before you can change the ambient light. Right now it's ocean blue. Then you can put a purple sky. Then, for example, change it a little bit. You can go like red. And you can see right now it's red right here on the vents. You can see the red color. And then you can choose like um, fire red. And then in the night you can see it much better. Uh, it's much better in the night, but right now I just want to show you uh, how you can change that. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's one of the the most beautiful ambient light in from the interior of the car. So uh, Mercedes with this one did a great job. Now surrounding light also you can change the settings or activate is activated from here. Pretty simple. 
then going forward here you have the winter tires limit and uh, seat belt and that stuff you see it before then let me go forward here to the system have controllers audio wi-fi time language unit you can change from here uh, all those settings i'm not going to go in detail to on each of of these settings uh, because i make a full review with this multimedia system check out on my channel if you want to see it now going forward guys here you have the apple carplay android auto you have the possibility to connect your phone then you have the amg performance right here uh, settings where you can change different settings you can configure it you have the driving uh, modes right here um, so you can change the different modes from here then a transmission manual or drive so uh, advanced basic stuff like that dynamic the way you want to drive so also vehicle information you have to start the engine and also here consumption and stuff like that anyway uh, you can make an idea then the comfort guys uh, there are the colors and the brightness of the light uh, I see I show you that before and also the seats comfort now the car have this safety thing that it closed itself uh, to spare some uh, energy of the battery but if you want to see the full review check out on my channel with the new mercedes m box multimedia system now those are the lights right now i just open up the the low bin and i want to show you the way it looks from the exterior um, this car from the exterior it's a beast it looks so nice so nice one of the most beautiful um, car in my um in my mind in my opinion so yeah what can i say guys i hope you really enjoyed this review i hope it was helpful if you have question please ask me um also um don't forget to check out my other videos with uh the latest mercedes on the market and also all other cars also please subscribe like share it with your friends and thank you very much again for watching my videos here are the information uh, about the new cla amg shooting brake 2020 four cylinder 306 horsepower the price it's a starting price 70,000. this car with all this option it's around uh it's around um 69,000 with all the discounts but if you want to check out the discounts you have to um, check it out from this uh, place so uh, thank you again for watching guys uh, here is the engine also you can take a look and then uh, I guess I will see you in the next one stay safe drive safe and see you soon bye guys